Welcome to Caliber 3, a counterterrorism school training people from all over the world. Am I clear? Sir, yes, sir. Here at Caliber 3, they teach personal self defense, counterterrorism techniques, and how to respond during a terror attack. Terror or attacks like that can occur anywhere in Israel, in Europe, in America, in Las Vegas. Sharon Gat is the founder of Caliber 3. He says Israeli civilians have learned how to quickly respond to a terror attack. They understand immediately after one bullet is shot what they have to do. They have to lie on the ground, catch a cover, get out of the place as, as fast as possible, and, and be as small as possible as they can. He also says Israelis have learned from experience that those actions work. Civilians carrying weapons respond to attacks like that and stop them. That's how attacks like these are stopped in Israel. And that way, even if the police is not there and the military is not there, but there was a civilian in the next room in the hotel that had a weapon, he goes and he kills the, the madman and finishes the attack and saves people's lives. He says that during an attack like Las Vegas, people just need to remember to take basic actions. Less exposed, crawl, Find the cover, that'll save your life. He also believes guns in the right hands can save lives. I'm not the guy that is saying that people shouldn't have a weapon. On the contrary, I think people should have a weapon. The weapon is not what kills people. What kills people are people. But you need to know who you're giving the weapon to. And you need to know that the, that the person that is getting a weapon is trained well enough and is mentally uh, mentally okay to carry a weapon. And he thinks that sadly, in light of the Las Vegas massacre, Americans need a new mentality. And Americans have to understand that attacks like this will occur. They occurred and they will occur in the future and people have to be more aware. Mm. They can still live their lives, but they have to be more aware to, to where they're living. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Ifrat.